One of the things that we praise about Ibrahim السلام, is not just his ability to see a bright future, even in the midst of great pain and trauma, but he also had a vision for what could go wrong as well. And so as he's making this dua, as he's settling his family in Mecca, he says, وَجْنُبْنِي وَبَنِيَّ أَنْ نَعْبُدَ الْأَصْنَامِ and protect me and my children from worshiping idols. Here he is having left idol worship, sacrificed everything for the sake of one God and challenging idol worship and settling his children, his family in this place. And he's saying, protect me and protect them from ever worshiping idols. He's building a Kaaba for the sake of one God and he knows that there could be the possibility that one day even this purest home, which is built for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, could be filled with idols against its original purpose and its intent. And as he's making dua, he's praying for himself first, which shows you that Ibrahim السلام, is teaching us that you never feel safe yourself from falling, even if you've been challenging sin and evil your entire life, you never know, you may fall into it. And so you always have to be vigilant and pray for it, that, that you would be protected from it first, always, until you meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so he says, وَجْنُبْنِي and protect me and protect my children from worshiping the idols. So he's praying for himself and he's praying for his offspring. Then he says, رَبِّ إِنَّهُنَّ أَضْلَلْنَ كَثِيرًا مِنَ النَّاسِ O oh my Lord, verily they have caused many to be led astray. They have led many to be led astray. So whoever uh, follows my way, then he is from me. And if anyone goes astray or they follow other than that, then you are most forgiving and most merciful. Some of the scholars, they say, uh, first and foremost, look how beautiful Ibrahim Islam's heart is. He's attributing the evil to the idols, even though it wasn't the idols, it was the maker of the idols. Uh, his father and his people that led people astray. But Ibrahim السلام, is keeping his anger directed at what was used to lead the people astray. And he has this huge heart for those that are astray, even if they punished him and even if they oppressed him. He still says, وَمَنْ asani." So whoever disobeys me, whoever takes another way, then verily you are most forgiving and most merciful. So his anger is directed towards the idols themselves, even though what are the idols except for the stones of man that are used to oppress other men and take away from the worship of the creator of all men. So Ibrahim Islam says that they have led many people astray. And at the same time, he does not pray directly for forgiveness for them, but he says, oh Allah, you are most forgiving and most merciful in regards to them. Now he also says, فَمَنْ تَبِعْنِي فَإِنَّهُ مِنِّي Whoever follows me, then that is who is from me. And that's something to, be, to, to really cling to for a moment. Ibrahim is saying, my children, my offspring, are not merely there because they are biologically my offspring. Those who are of me are those who follow me, those who follow my way. Fast forward years later and you have a Kaaba that is full of idols, hundreds of idols inside and out, used for the exact opposite purpose of the Kaaba. Not only that, but when the Prophet ﷺ entered into the Kaaba, guess who he saw? He saw an image of Ibrahim السلام. So they even cast Ibrahim السلام, the one who strove against those idols as being part of the scheme of that idol worship. And the Prophet ﷺ is being excommunicated with his followers from the people of Mecca. For what reason? Because they have disobeyed our forefathers. SubhanAllah. So the Prophet and his followers are being treated in a certain way. Why? Because they have disobeyed our forefathers, even though the great forefather Ibrahim السلام, who settled that place in the first place is the one who's being disobeyed with the idol worship. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, in awla nas bi Ibrahim, that those who have the greatest right to Ibrahim, ladina taba'u, are those who follow Ibrahim alayhi salam. Those are the ones who have the right to claim Ibrahim alayhi salam, not those who are biologically his descendants. No, those who follow the way of Ibrahim alayhi salam. What's the powerful message of that? That 
Bilal radiallahu ta'ala anhu and Salman radiallahu anhu and Sumayya radiallahu anha, they are of Ibrahim alayhi salam, even though they're not biologically the children of Ibrahim alayhi salam. And Abu Lahab and Abu Jahl and those that were opposing the Prophet ﷺ and oppressing his followers, they are not of Ibrahim ﷺ, even if they could trace their lineage back to Ibrahim ﷺ, because those that are of Ibrahim ﷺ are those who follow Ibrahim ﷺ. And there you have the Prophet ﷺ, thousands of years later, entering into that Kaaba that has been built for the worship of one God, but now tarnished with all of those idols. And he is the one purifying it even from the image of Ibrahim السلام, returning it back to the intent of Ibrahim السلام, which was for the worship and the glory of one God.